Okay, um, in this little video, I'm just going to show you how to um, create an angled plane uh, so you can draw sketches on it. So for this example here, this, this little rucksack, there are two um, intersecting shapes. Um, so to create this one that's going in at an angle, we're going to need to have to draw a, a sketch on a plane. So um, just to illustrate that here, I've got a, a watering can I've, I've started making. So I've got the body of it and a little handle. And what I need to do is now draw the spout. It's going to come out here. So to do that, I need to create a plane um, that is an, as an angle. Um, if I get the right hand view there, look, the plane I want is going to be, if, if you took that one there and you pivoted it, so it was leaning back away a little bit, but I, I don't want it to be around uh, the bottom. I want it to be a little bit further up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a sketch on that plane there. I'm going to pick up the center point. I'm going to come up. Um, I'm going to come up 70 and then I'm just going to put a little line out to the side. I don't know how long it is, but as long as it's horizontal. So that would do me. Now what I can do is I can get the plane tool here um, and there's different options. I can offset planes. So if I just wanted a, a plane that was just offset, look, I could just click that one there and then I can uh, make that web 100 and you'll see I get another plane that is, that is um, offset from the first one but I don't want to do that. Um, other options lots around here but the one we're interested in is the line angle. So for that one I'm going to pick the plane. So that's the one that is going to kind of pivot if you like and I need to now choose the line. Now the line for that one I want is this one here. So that's the line that that plane is going to pivot about and I want it to be 30 degrees. So I hit 30 um, and I'm just going to press the tab key just so it kind of jumps it on. And you can see now I've got a, another plane there that's going to be going off at that angle. Now for this model, that's the wrong way. So I can flip the direction and I've now got this plane here. So finish that and you'll see I've got a plane at an angle there. Look. Now what I need to do to draw my spout, I actually want to start my spout off somewhere up here. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to offset it. So I'm going to do an offset of the of the um, of 300. Again, that's gone the wrong way. So if I flip it, then that's going to be up here. Now what that means is I can now draw the sketch on that plane, um, and I can extrude it back towards the watering can. So I just want a little circle here. I'm going to I'm going to try and pick up this center point here of the um, the, the, the sketch that little point there is going to be the very middle of my sketch I want it to join it there I can't select it so I'm going to use this tool here to use the project convert tool if I click on there I can come down to that little um, corner of my original sketch look I can pick up that that shape so now if I draw my circle on there um, I'm going to make it 20 and I'll maybe make it a little hollow actually just for fun, 18, there we go. Now I've got a sketch off up in space um, at the right angle. So all I need to do is extrude that back towards the, uh, the rest of the can. Now, a little uh, sort of extra little tip here. Um, I've selected the ring, so it's a hollow shape, yep. Um, now, normally what we do with a sketch, uh, sorry, with an extrusion is we would do it blind. So we'd say, well, if I did that 300, that's where I started. Look, um, that's grand. That's going through there. But if I look inside, I don't really want that, do I? It's kind of gone right through um, the wall into the middle. Um, I could try and bring it back a bit, maybe like that. But it's still going to be quite hard to get it um, just right. And in fact, even if I do get it just right, the angle looks going to be wrong. So in a situation like this, what I would do instead is I would change this uh, command here from what they call it an end type in Onshape. I'd change that from blind. I'd look at the other options. We've got other options. So symmetric, you maybe have used before. That's where it's going to go either side. Again, that's no good for us. What I want to look at is up to next. And what that's going to do is it's going to fire that extrusion in that direction until it comes to the next object. OK, in this case, it's a curved object. So when we look at it, it's actually stopped dead on the outside of that can. So there we have uh, the watering can with the spout. It's probably a little bit high for a real watering can, but um, <clears throat> never mind. 
So we've put a, a plane on. We put the little uh, angled plane using the sketch. We've uh, offset a plane, and then we've used the extrude to next to get that. Um, once you've done that, you'll probably need to do a drawing. So just one little thought in here. If I just update my my drawing here, um, the the dimensions that you had or would be given would include that little point here where our our um, spout extrusion is going to start at. But how on earth am I going to dimension that? I, I, I don't know where it is. So what we need to do on this one is if we add a couple of centre lines. So this is a cylinder. So it's going to have a centre line. There's a centre mark there on the top one, that cross going through the middle of that cylinder. So if I put one on here, look now in on shape, an edge to edge centre line. What that, that does is it takes uh, an edge here and an edge here and it's going to put the line in the middle. Once you've done that, um, we can do the same on here, look and on here. And that's given me one there as well. Now, what on shape allows you to do is to drag these to different positions because obviously that's all round. And here, I can actually bring that right down until it intersects. You see there's a little cross appeared um, when I've got near to that. What well, That's just going to lock it uh, into place so it's right on that, on that spot. And what that means is that I can now put a dimension um, to that point so I can, I can say that um, that centre of this spout starts 70 mil up from the the base of the can. All your other sizes, of course, you can put on again your your angles and your heights and, and everything else. Um, I could also do a um, a dimension of, of how long the spout is. If I wanted to go from here to here, I'd need to pick up that that line look, and then it gives me that 300. So. Angle planes and also then how you would add dimensions on a drawing um, to show how those angle planes are, um, are positioned. Okay, hope that helps.